Jack. Time to uh, tighten some screws on your golf game. Let me explain to you what I'm doing. When I start warming up, I'm trying to see how slow I can swing. I have practiced this drill with the club in the center of my chest to realize how far I can turn. And I can almost turn to my shoulder, getting completely under my chin, straight back. I'm trying to get the back of my left hand outside my right foot and be like that. Hadn't turned any, it's right there. All I've done is turn my shoulders that far and my hands flat. But I'm trying to do this exceptionally slow. You're gonna have full shots, you're gonna have half shots, you're gonna have shots that just have no uh, uh, power whatsoever in them. But you can only turn as fast as your shoulders will do this in rhythm. And you can see that's not very fast. If you watch the center of my chest and don't watch my hands, this is not turning very fast. Put my foot back down, I'm right back where I started. I'm going as slow as I can swing because there are times when I don't want to put any power to the golf shot at all, and it's like this. Then there are times where I'm going to hit a half shot. I don't turn any faster. I just pop a little quicker, and it looks like this. Put my foot back down and right back where I started. If I want to hit a crisp shot, let's not say full, let's say crisp. This is not turning any faster. Put it back down and right back where I started. So when I start hitting golf balls out here, the first thing that I do. is swing with absolutely no power whatsoever. And the first two or three or four swings that I do are all with no power. I'm just trying to get my rhythm down That's all I'm trying to do. Left shoulder under the chin, right shoulder under the chin. The ball's gonna be clear up there before I see flat the first time. Put my foot back down, I'm right back where I started. Left shoulder, right shoulder, and this is my count. It's this slow. One, four. Up on my toe, turn back around, I'm right where I started. Don't see impact, see the ball, touch the club. Straight back and straight up. I'm going straight back and the toes straight up. So I'm cocking here, not there. That's key. If there's any question to where your swing is, you set up, cock your wrist, 
Turn your left shoulder under your chin, and that's where your hands are going to be. Right there, and you cocked left hand, not right. I practiced this a hundred thousand times. Not putting any power to it. One and roll. As I get comfortable with that, I'm not going to swing any different. I'm just going to pop it a little faster. And the faster I need to go, the slower I swing. One, two. Left shoulder, right shoulder, straight back, straight up. One, go. This time I'm going to pop it a little firmer. One. going to shoot it up a lot higher. One, go. Now, as you do this, I'm very conscious of where this position is outside my right foot. From there, you have to realize on your swing how far you're going to cock it. And that's as far as I'm going. There's the one and. Okay, figure out where these places are on your swing. And don't get in a hurry with this. Cock your wrist up, turn your shoulders, and that's where your hands are gonna be. I guarantee you, you set that up, you cock your wrist, you go to your follow through, that's where your follow through is gonna be. I'm very conscious of the fact that if I don't move my head, Jack, as I come through, it blocks out my vision. It hits me right there every time. If I move my head right at impact, it's over there, not here. And that's where the error comes in. You have to go left shoulder, right shoulder. Still be looking down as that ball peeks out. I'm not gonna swing any faster. I'm going to hit this one as firm as I ever hit a 56 degree sand wedge. One, oh. And there's what happens when you look up. There's what happens when you look up. Happens when I do it, Jack, happens when you do it. Left shoulder, right shoulder. One. It just goes real, real high. But let's say I'm going to that first ball right there. Sure not going to hit it very hard, are you? You're always controlling the club head. That's the reason I hit into a tire. I want to see the position that my body's in at impact. It's right there. 
There's where I was at address. There's where I am at impact. What you have to realize on your golf swing is when you take your backswing and you get to your shoulder, your weight's no longer 50-50. Most of it's over there. And you have to let your weight get back 50-50 before it can go the other direction. Right there, my feet get back 50-50 and it drops that far on my golf swing. How far does it drop on your golf swing? You have to realize that and swing slow enough, Jack, that it'll let that happen, okay? One, and there it is right there. As soon as I'm getting right there, I'm turning over on my toe and releasing it. One, four. Put my foot back down, I'm right back where I started. I just sat here on the driving range and practiced this, a cotton picking much. One, go. When I get through hitting a 56, I'll go to a pitching wedge and I start this whole routine over. Swinging as slow as I can with no power. One piece take away, everything's moving together. My feet are doing this. Gotta have lively feet, Jack. Straight back, straight up. One, go. Next, two balls, three balls I'm gonna hit. I'm never gonna look up. One, go. I know it goes straight out. I can see where my club went across the board. One, go. Right shoulder under the chin. One, and go. Now I'm going to hit it about I'm swinging very fast, Jack. Not swinging very fast at all. I'll hit this one pretty much 90%. When I started hitting shots like this, 
I'd hit it and go, okay, how far does that go? And I'd just step it off. Okay, that's how far that swing goes. So I know I don't have to put any more pressure on myself trying to hit it any further. I want to hit it that far consistently. Again, I've practiced this a lot. Tells you right where your hands are going to be at the top. I'll go from a pitching wedge to an eight jack and do the same thing. <laughs> 